I've always had a love for pastry and just for creating in general. I really, really enjoy working with my hands. The joy of like baking came actually when I was in high school in home ec and I had wanted to go to culinary school then, but it was just something at the time, you know, my family was just like, no. <laughs> so that idea has really been with me for a really long time of just wanting to create for a living. My name is Valerie Valcourt. I am 34 years old. I make $30,000 per year, and I live in tournant sur rhone which is a village in eastern France. I'm a pastry assistant at a restaurant called Maison Chabon. I am happier in France than I was in the US. I love being able to travel, the accessibility to nature, discovering new parts of the country. It's been so much fun and of course all of the pastries. When I first decided to move to France, I was an administrative business partner at Google and that was fall of 2020. Working in tech, I was making six figures, but the paycheck wasn't worth the detriment to my mental health. I quit my job because I was like, okay, we're gonna do this. I found a school, I got in, it was Escoffier in Paris, and I had gotten in and I was like, okay, we're gonna start January of 2021. I didn't have all the tuition, but I was just like, I'm gonna make it work. What I didn't take into account though was, again, at what level my mental health was and what would happen to like my psyche upon quitting. I found this school called Gastronomicom. It was a fraction of the price of like other schools in France. I plan to save around $25,000 in order to pay for tuition costs as well as move to France. I already had 10K in my savings and so I had about eight months to save up the rest to hit that goal. I originally expected to be in France for seven months, three months of school plus my four month internship, but I've been here for about a year and a half now. I can absolutely live comfortably on my salary and still paying my rent and my expenses. I'm really getting my bang for my buck because I don't know many places in the U.S. where you can get a one-bedroom apartment for less than $600. That's in a great neighborhood, that's close to many amenities. I get most of my meals from work, but I'm getting more into cooking again now that I have a kitchen. Literally a sack of potatoes, it's only 99 cents. That is so cheap. Oh. So another thing here is the wine. This is a Cote du Rhone, and it's like a local wine, 345. It'll be good wine too, it's not like super cheap. Cheap in cost, but not cheap in flavor or value or quality. There were no apartments like near where I worked. I really needed that mobility and freedom to be able to travel.
when I get to work, the first thing I do is check to see how many clients we have. Then from there, I start looking at what items we need for our mise en place. From there, I'm baking, I'm whipping things. I'm just kind of running around the kitchen, getting myself ready. And so our tickets start coming in and then we can see kind of like the layout of the land of what's in front of us. While French is spoken in the kitchen, we also do speak English, but outside of work, I'm still using French. I'm not fluent yet, but I can still have a conversation with people and have them understand me, which is nice. French kitchens definitely like have a reputation, but I would say the differences are, it didn't feel like the times when I was an administrative business partner or an executive assistant that I could necessarily be off. Whereas here, I'm the one who's sometimes staying later and doing stuff and people are like, why are you here? Go home. The French culture is like, when it's time to rest, it's time to rest. And also have a glass of wine every now and then. I am happier here than in the US. It's been lovely. I do hope to continue working in pastry. I feel like there's so much for me to learn. While being a pastry chef is not necessarily the goal itself, I do still want to work in the industry for as long as I can. I could definitely see myself moving to different parts of France, especially further south. The weather is gorgeous and also this is just a beautiful country and I would love to keep exploring and discovering more of it. I would move to other places in Europe if the opportunity became available, but we'll see. One day, I would absolutely consider moving back to the U.S. My family and friends are there and I miss them more than I can say and it feels important to one day go back to my roots and bring what I've learned from France to the U.S.